Hello everybody, today I would like to show you how to program a special program. As programming example, we choose the street lighting of a church, which is supposed to be switched on specifically on Good Friday, e evening during the time from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Unlike standard programs, the special program has to be defined first via its configuration menu SP Entry. Afterwards, the configured period of time will be activated with SP Activation. Every special program can be activated multiple times. While the special program is active, it runs exclusively, meaning that no standard program is active during that time, but we will get into details shortly. Let's start now with the programming. First, I turn on the time switch. Now, I use the button M to enter the programming mode by pressing the OK button. Next. I enter the menu New Program by pressing, by pressing the OK button again. Now we have to choose the channel to be used. In our example, we use channel A. I confirm the channel by pressing the OK button. In the next programming step, we have to select Special Program by pressing the plus button. Once Special Program is displayed, we push the OK button to confirm. The next step is to define the Special Program in the menu SP Entry by pressing the OK button. In total, there are 10 program numbers available, allowing us to define 10 different independent special programs. Please note that the program numbers have different priorities. Program number 10 has a higher priority than program number 9. If, for example, both program numbers are to be executed at the same time, the time switch would always choose the program with the higher priority over the other, meaning that only one of the special programs would run. For our example, we will use program number 1. In the next step, we'll have to choose the function which will be executed when the special program is active. Possible functions to choose from are on, off, pulse or cycle. For our example, we will select the on function, confirming it by pressing the OK button. Since we want Friday as the only day to be active, we will have to disable all other days via the plus minus keys by choosing no and confirming with the OK button. In the next step, we will have to configure the time period in which the special program shall be active. In our example, it is supposed to start at 7 p.m., which equals 1900 military time. By pressing the plus minus buttons, we now set the time accordingly, beginning with the hour followed by the OK button, then the minutes also followed by the OK button. The display now shows us the just entered program for verification. By pressing the OK button, we can now enter the next special program switching time. Since we have only programmed the time when to switch on the lights before, we will now have to program the switch off time as well. This is handled very similar to the programming of the previous programming step. First, we confirm the desired channel, A, then select SP Entry and confirm it with the OK button. By choosing the same program number as before, a 1, and confirming it with the OK button, the time switch logic already knows that we'll now configure the switch off time for this program. We confirm the configuration by pressing the OK button. The time switch automatically copied the active days from the switch on time program, but if necessary, this can be adjusted by using the plus minus buttons. Since we don't want to change the days, we just confirm it by pressing the OK button for each day. In the next step, we will have to enter the switch off time for the special program. In our example, this would be 11 p.m., which equals 2300 military time, which we will configure now by using the plus minus buttons, followed by pressing the OK button until the confirmation screen displays the configured time and channel again. By pressing the OK button, we will exit the programming menu. After programming the switching times for the special program, we will now have to activate it. Therefore, we choose SP Activation instead of SP Entry in the menu, confirming it by pressing the OK button. We now select the program number of the previously configured special program, in our example number 01, 
confirming it by pressing the OK button. Now we will have to enter the start date for the special program to run, beginning with the month. In 2018, Good Friday is on March 30th, so we have to enter 03 for March, followed by the OK button. Then we have to enter 30 for the day, also followed by the OK button. In the next step, we will enter the end date of the special program, which is in our example also March the 30th. We confirm the date, month and day, by pressing the OK button twice. The next menu gives us now the opportunity to select a special function for the special program. We can choose between no special program, Easter function, which means the time switch automatically shifts the date of the special function according to the date of Easter holidays, or we have a one-time function which only runs once and then never again. For our example, it makes sense using the Easter function since Good Friday is based on the Easter holidays. After selecting and confirming the Easter function, the channel letter and the Easter egg symbol are flashing, showing the configured activation timeframe for the special program. As mentioned earlier, while the special program is active, no other standard program will be performed, even if the standard program includes switching times, which will occur before 7 p.m. or 1900 military time. Thank you for watching this video.